So today we'll be going over this uh, NFC enabled chip called TapTag, if you could see it there. It basically has an uh, adhesive back, a kind of waterproof coating front. It's really thin and it's an NFC chip that holds about 137 bytes of data, which is the equivalent of roughly 35 characters of information, which is most website links or contact information. Um, you can kind of see how it works. This is an iPhone 11 Pro. You just touch the top of it and it will give you a link. And when you first get the tap tag, it's just preloaded with the website um, of, of how to get it. But today we're gonna go over how to reprogram the tap tag to use any information. So like I said, you tap it and you get a link every time. It's gonna just bring you to the site. So um, I always use this app called NFC Tools. It's free in the Apple and Android app store. Essentially what you do is you open it up and you are greeted with this screen. You hit write. And from there you do add a record and it gives you a bunch of different options. Um, with phones these days, not all the options work. Like I know the coolest one would be Wi-Fi network where you can install your Wi-Fi information. Only some Android phones use that, but right now Apple phones typically do not. And a lot of Android phones don't, don't use it either. It's just only a select few, but maybe in the future we'll have that. So today we're just gonna do like a social network. And from here, you just click uh, edit and I wanna pick Instagram to just use as an example. And all you really do is just you're gonna put your Instagram tag. So I am uh, that drone guy tie, perfect. And you just hit okay. And from there, so you can see it brings you to this screen. So I could add another record. I don't recommend doing that because it really, really doesn't hold that much data on it. Um, you can see that this is ready preloaded to go with that drone guy tie. It's 33 bytes. And like I said earlier, this uh, has about 137 millibytes of, or sorry, regular bytes of free information, not millibytes. That would be a lot more. Bytes are very small. So you just hit right here and it's gonna tell you to hold your phone up to it. You just hold your phone to it and you're gonna get a thing saying that it worked. So from there, um, sometimes it scans immediately once you do it. Um, you, I don't know if you just saw that, but now when we go to the tap tag, we're gonna tap it and it's gonna be my Instagram information that I just wrote onto it. And boom, this is my Instagram profile. And that's really it about how to program it. And it's reprogrammable. I could go back to the app here, um, edit and get rid of my social network and then do add a record again. And I could pick something else like a custom URL. Um, I think uh, I have Linktree here. Let me just show you one second, Linktree. I think I should be logged in already. No, maybe not. All right, let me just log in here. Face ID, great. So this is my Linktree link. So it should come to this page. So what I'm gonna do is just copy my, my link here. Hit copy. I'm sorry, I think I missed it there, copy. And then uh, we're gonna exit out, go back to NFC tools, have my tap tag right there. So right now, as we know, it's going to my Instagram. We don't want that anymore. We're gonna do a custom URL. So you hit custom URL and we're just gonna paste that link to my link tree. Now we're gonna hit okay. And uh, that one is 29 bytes and we're just gonna hit write. It's gonna do the dialogue and hold it up to the tap tag and it writes and see it automatically scanned. We'll just try it again here. Um, we'll get out of the app and then scan it, boom. And that's my link. So now we have my website, my YouTube, my Instagram, my Facebook, um, my Etsy. It's all right there under one single link. And if you hit this, you could uh, go to my YouTube channel and really you just share all your social information with the one single link. And uh, that's, that's basically how it works. It's, it's really simple. I have one on the back of my phone. It, the adhesive is really great. Uh, this thing's not coming off. You know, you can pull it off if you just need some elbow grease, but it's not coming off. And I can just tap this to any of my friend's phones here. And, or if I get a new client, I have used it a bunch of times already. It's, it's really great. And you can even do a couple other things with some smart home automation. Um, I'll, I'll probably go into that next here and uh, that's it. All right, now we're gonna be going over how to do like a smart home automation with TapTag. So say we had this thing stuck to right here at the end. Um, what I wanna do is go to shortcuts um, in my apps. I don't have it on my home screen because nobody does. 
and you want to do a new automation. So you hit this middle one in the middle here, which brings you to this screen. I already have a couple automations, ignore those. So if we hit the plus, we wanna do a new one and we're gonna do a create personal automation. So this is only for this phone. So this is not something you could program into here and have your friend come over and tap this and have it work. This is only for me. So these are more ideas to have at home. Um, so what I'm gonna do is scroll the way down to NFC. So it basically says when I tap NFC tag, something's going to happen. So now I do this and we're gonna scan the tag. So now it's gonna read our tag here, which uh, we just have to name it. So I'll name it light tag because I'm gonna have it turn on some lights and hit okay. So now it knows what tag that is. So now we're gonna hit next and add action. So we always wanna start with an if statement, not always, I lied, but if statements are great. So it's basically saying if um, I'm gonna use, I have these light panels uh, right over here. I'm gonna use uh, my light panels, which are smart home enabled to turn on using my tag. So I'm gonna pick those. I have a couple other ones here. I'm gonna hit done. So if light panels, uh, let's see, is off, we're going to, so let's go into here. So what I do, just to start, um, we're gonna do another plus. So if it, if light panels are off, I wanna turn them on. So I, now I need to go here. I always just type in home and control my home. So it's gonna pull up all my home things again. I just hit that. And these are all my scenes. We don't want a scene right now. We just want to control my light panels. So we're just gonna hit light panels and next. And we're gonna to wanna to turn them on. So right now it's defaults to off, we, we turn them on. So now we got if light panels is off, we want to turn them on. Otherwise, uh, we're gonna do essentially the same thing again. Um, home, control my home, and same thing all the way down here. And we're gonna hit that again and hit next. So this time I'm, I'm basically saying if light panels are off, turn them on. If they're on, turn them off. So now um, that's to turn them on, this is turn them off. So I already had the on, I'm gonna hit done here. So now we're gonna do, if light panels are off, set light panels on. And it says that if I click into it, light panels are on. Um, otherwise, if light panels are on, we're gonna turn them off. That's really it. So now you hit next. And I always turn off this ask before running because usually it'll drop down a notification that asks you if you want to do it and you have to say, you know, hit it to say yes. Um, or you could just have it done automatically when you tap the tag. So we're going to turn that off. It just gives you a little warning here and you hit done. That's it. So now you'll see it down here as another automation. So now let's see when I tap this tag here, let's see if I can get both in frame. When I tap this tag, my light panels should turn on. And it says on my phone that I'm running my light tag automation. And now that they're on, I could tap it again to turn them off and so on. I could keep doing that. And that's it. I don't even really have to touch the actual tag. Um, you just get close to it. It runs the, the notification here telling you it's happening. And that's pretty much it. And I could, uh, really do anything with it. I could set it to my phone to turn on do not disturb. I could uh, set music every time I tap this. Uh, I could play some music here. And it'd be really cool just to have around the house. Um, you could even have multiple of them set up where you tap one for a movie scene which turns on your movie mode and, and dims the lights. And you could have another one for a party scene which plays some music and maybe um, text your friends to come over. Who knows? You could do almost infinite things using the, the shortcuts app in uh, like an Apple iPhone. It's also available on Android and it comes with the phone when you buy an Apple. I'm not sure with Android, honestly, but, and then this is it. So same, just to do one more time here. You don't even have to unlock your phone. You could just tag it and these things just turn on and that's really it that easy.